what are the facilities the investor need to put more money in the Egyptian market? Certainly. And I can speak to this because I've had a number of experiences in a number of different countries. Um, and I've seen the good and the bad. But I think first and foremost, an investor who's looking to deploy resources in country wants to have faith that there is a stability of government. They want to have faith that um, contracts are not going to be reneged on, that there is going to be a long-term sustainable view in country. So that's the first thing. The second thing that we look for is organization within the government, if you're talking about facilities that the government can provide, and organization within investment promotion centers. And I have to say that um, the Ministry of Investment here has been very proactive in trying to help us determine where we could site this investment, for example. It's actually you're waiting for your finalizing to finish up this uh, contract. Certainly. We're working through some of the nitty-gritty technical specifications of the systems that we're developing. And we're working with some very impressive government entities here in Egypt that know this business, know this technology, and have strong opinions about what is best for the people here. And we're informed by those opinions. So it's a collaborative process, working with groups, for example, the Egyptian Holding Company for Silos and Storage. Uh, the Egyptian uh, engineer will, be ha will have a part in this project? Yes, Egyptian engineers, Egyptian contractors, Egyptian laborers, um, civil engineering, for example. You mentioned the engineers because, you know, climates are different, foundations are different, soil types are different. And so we have to collaborate with the local community. Teach the farmers and the governor peoples how to use them and how yes. to adapt. Very important and a strong distinction between our company and others who sometimes just develop a system and run away. Um, we have specialized training programs for the managers of our systems to ensure that once the facility is up and running, it's not mm. a white elephant. Mm. The worst thing that could happen for the country and for our company personally is if our systems aren't utilized to the extent they can be. So we go through training programs and we customize those training programs depending on the type of customer. Thank you, David. Thank you.